How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how many calories do I eat on a plant-based diet? So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. I appreciate that. All right, uh, out here on a walk this morning and I wanna make this video. And if you're new to my channel, I make a lot of videos on what I eat in a day, on my workout routines, I make recipe videos, I talk a lot about intermittent fasting, so a lot of these topics is what I cover on my YouTube channel. And I'm also now doing fat loss fitness and wellness coaching and motivation. So if you're interested in extra help with a healthy lifestyle, go ahead and send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram and the links are in the description box below. All right, so I don't really ever count my calories. Uh, I have no need to do that, but I know that some people are interested in that. So I decided to make a video where I'm gonna show what I eat and I'm gonna show exactly how many calories it is and what it is. So uh, that's what I did. Now, just by looking at the food that I eat, I can pretty much guess that I eat anywhere between 2,500 and 3,500 calories a day. Now, I'm super active. I do not need to lose any weight. Um, so this is, the, this is the amount of food that I need. This works for me. Now, if you're someone that needs to lose weight, um, you know, lose fat, this is gonna be too many calories. You do not wanna eat this much food. Um, I also include, you know, some heavier foods like nut seeds, avocados, and nut butters, and some whole grain bread in my diet. Now, most of my diet is fruits and vegetables, a lot of whole plant foods, but I do include some heavier, more calorie dense foods. Um, again, if you're someone that's looking to lose weight, um, you do not want to be including some of these foods in your diet, or at least I wouldn't recommend it. You want to eat more, even more foods that are water rich, that are more calorie dilute. But since I'm super active and you know, this is the amount of calories that, that works for me, I include these heavier, some heavier foods like some of these nuts, seed, nuts and seeds and you know, peanut butter and almond butter and avocados and things like that. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, because I know a lot of people out there are trying to lose weight, they go to a whole food plant-based diet and they have trouble, so um, you wanna keep those more calorie dilute foods in your diet and none or less of the heavier foods. Um, also a big thing that I do and I promote is intermittent fasting. Um, I always eat within an eight hour window, a lot of times less, but I'm fasting for at least 16 hours a day. And again, if you need to lose more weight, you need to keep that window tighter. You don't, you know, it's gonna be harder to lose weight if you're eating in an eight hour window, unless you're really eating just, you know, very um, calorie dilute foods, like just fruits and vegetables. But it's gonna be much better and much quicker is if you tighten that eating window. Once you get to an ideal weight, then you can expand the eating window and you can do whatever works for your lifestyle. So that's pretty much it um today i started i actually just had my green juice i started at 11 a.m and i'm probably going to eat until about 6 p.m maybe 7 at the latest so it's going to be an eight hour eating window at the most i always start out my meal with either green juice a smoothie or some sort of a juicy fruit so i like to have a lot of water rich content when i start eating easy to digest um, it just works the best for me so that's what i recommend uh, so anyway, here's what I had. Okay, so at 11 a.m. I started out with this juice and I used one bunch of celery. I used a bunch of parsley and I used one of these two cucumbers. Uh, no, I didn't use both of them. It was too much. And then I used one apple and that was 160 calories. And that was about 20 ounces of juice. And that was at 11 a.m. That's how I started out back with a smoothie and this was at 2 p.m. and I used a banana I used some frozen cherries and a serving of frozen berries both in that bowl and I used a couple tablespoons of soaked chia seeds a scoop of Marcus Rosscran mix some water I used a serving of greens and two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. This was at 2 p.m. This was 640 calories. And that's what it looked like right there. That's a good tasting, very nutritious smoothie. I like that one. And then at 3.30, I had two peanut butter and banana sandwiches on whole grain bread and an apple. So this got in some calories here. This was 1,255 calories. 
I had done a pretty tough workout, a pretty strenuous workout, so I needed these extra calories. And again, that was 1,255 calories. That was at 3.30. Then I was back with a large salad, which was at 6.30. Now, this salad had greens, it had a cucumber, a tomato, half an avocado, an apple, a serving of walnuts, some baby carrots, and two sticks of celery. And that was 500 calories. And this was at 6.30. 500 calorie salad, and I did a 500 calorie burrito bowl. The burrito bowl had rice, beans, salsa, tomatoes, and half an avocado, onion, and bell pepper. So that was it, folks. 3,055 calories. That was in less than eight hours. And that is a typical day of eating. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.